Are you under 30? Hmm, too bad, because you're screwed. Well, Generation Z has been running around for the last decade going, okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer, thinking that they're oh so very clever. The forces of evil have been aligning against you. Also, they can say, okay, renter, there is an extremely good chance you are never ever gonna own a home because if you live in the greater Toronto area it's gonna take you 39 years to save up just to make a down payment let's be clear that's not to pay off a house it's so you can begin to pay for a mortgage but don't feel bad if you're in Vancouver it'll take you 50 so if you're an aspiring sound engineer living at home waiting for your parents to die how the hell are you supposed to do this how are you supposed to have a career well i can tell that many of you guys are mixing on headphones because i do a mix review show every monday and well let's just say that the results are very they can be great but more often than not we get nine minute gent epics that are equal parts boring and hideous <laughs> Here's a hint, guys. Try writing a chorus. Nobody gives a fuck that you can play guitar really well! So if you're like most people your age and crammed into your parents' basement while working 40 hours a week with absolutely zero chance of moving out unless you share an apartment with 17 of your closest friends, you might not have a lot of space for studio monitors. Cali might just have the solution that you're looking for. These are the new LPUNF monitors. Catchy name, right? Like, what the fuck were they thinking? Hey, let's all get drunk at the staff meeting, look out the window and copy the new guy's license plate. I got it, it's the perfect name. Well, there is actually a method to the madness here. It stands for Lone Pine Ultra Near Field. And if you don't speak audio nerd, what that means is that these are designed to be put on a desk at arm's length. They don't take up much space and at $299, they're very affordable and soon to be cheaper than a burger and fries at Wendy's once that surge pricing kicks in. Wow, don't you just love life in the 21st century? Now, these monitors have all the usual Kali appointments like dip switches and pictograms that are so simple to follow that even your average guitar player can figure out how to use them, that is, once he stops staring into the mirror contemplating his own awesomeness. But there are some additional connections on these that I haven't seen before. You can connect via Bluetooth, say if you want to do some basic mixing with a tablet, and there's also RCA, TRS, and a USB-C connection as well. Hold on a sec, USB-C. Okay, now I'm intrigued. Apparently, you can hook these directly up to your computer. No sound card required. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm set up, I'm good to go. I gotta say, this was actually a really easy setup to do. Just set up the monitors and hook up your computer usb-c cable that's it and i'm literally running reaper right now and i'm running loopback uh as well screen flow so i've got all of this going no problem and it didn't take very long to get everything ready to go that's super cool so if i'm on the road somewhere i want to might want to throw these in a suitcase uh, if i've got to do any critical work now the only thing i'm regretting maybe is not having a, a couple little desktop stands for these things um i do have a couple rolls of tape just to kind of aim the tweeters up at me and i'm sure the cali guys are probably watching this and go no no you fucking idiot don't do that so yeah there might be that but at least i got the tweeters aimed up at me and you know just messing around with these things i can tell something right off the bat And that's that this mix needs a lot of freaking work. That's for sure. I mean, like the clarity that these things kick out is just unbelievable. Now you're probably wondering, okay, we're hooked into the computer, but how do we control the volume? I mean, of course we can use the master fader here, but that's going to affect a lot, bunch of different things, especially if you're you know using outboard or whatever. Uh, turns out this little plus and minus sign here is the volume control for the speakers themselves. How freaking awesome is that? Word of warning, guys, seriously, if you're considering working with these, just remember, these are extremely loud and extremely clean. You crank these up, you can definitely damage your hearing, so proceed with 
caution. That's the thing about clean audio, you know? Sometimes you just don't know how loud you're really making things. So, so be cautious when you want to crank these up. These pack way more power than they look like they have. But I got to say, having built-in digital to analog converters right on the speakers so you don't need a sound card, that was unexpected. And I think that's a total freaking win right there. It just makes things that much less complicated. And these things... absolutely quiet as death that's triply impressive but of course the big question is uh will they work on a great big neve console let's find out all right so i've got everything finally hooked up to the desktop it definitely took a little bit of finagling to get everything kind of routed. and i reached out to kelly i was like hey can i put these things on their sides they're like no you shouldn't even have them up on your meter bridge because they're too far so they need to be arms like so I thought I'd just throw them up anyway because why not let's break some rules and uh, see what we get and I gotta say I am having fun with these little bastards like check this out this is a mix I'm working on right now for Aurora DSP I'm checking out their Laney amps I'm gonna have a full breakdown on this in a week or two but check this out this is what I got right now Now, the crazy thing is that I immediately heard, you know, the, the snare kind of jumping out a little bit too much on these monitors that I wasn't hearing on my mains. So that's pretty cool. Just even having a second set of monitors can be a real big improvement in your overall workflow because it gives you that quick second guess, that second set of ears, as it were, so you can hear what's going on. And even just to hear them on slightly smaller speakers is really damn cool. Now, if you guys are digging that mix, uh, I gotta have a breakdown on how I got that snare sound in a week or two. Make sure you're subscribed. I know there's like 600,000 of you watched the show last month and didn't hit the subscribe button. Just remember, it's absolutely free. It costs you nothing to do and it would mean the world to me if you would. It's gonna be a very interesting ride and it would be way cooler if you joined us for it. So I don't think I'm gonna leave these on the meter bridge. We can't spread these out far enough uh and they're kind of in the way of the monitor slightly and well they're not supposed to be up here anyway i mean like i'd probably rather have a set of lp6s up here on the bridge but right now i'm pretty happy with with my setup as the way it is these will go into a travel bag because i can see these coming in handy if say i need to go spend a couple days in a hotel somewhere and i need to do some critical mixing in the meantime these are definitely going to fill that role ever so nicely I've got to give credit to Cali for continuing to think outside the box. They made studio monitors super affordable with the LP6 and the IN UNF, which are more effectively known as the big balls here at Spectre Sound, are some of my favorites for desktop mixing. These new LP UNFs are totally killer. They're clean, they're loud, and gosh darn it, they're fun to work with. Especially if you're still living at home because we all know that you're not allowed to have bigger speakers than your dad's. <laughs> But there are but there are some additional and soon to be cheaper than a burger and fries at Wendy's once that <laughs> you are screwed <laughs> now there's a very good chance there is a very good I gotta give I gotta give a lot of credit cat up 